Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Equities. Now if you like our content, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates at the earliest. In this video, we would be talking about 8 stock ideas shared by Porinju Veliat, which he thinks will be wealth creators going ahead. Now please don't treat these as stock recommendations from our part and always conduct your own due diligence. The way to play this information would be to go ahead and add these stocks to your watch list and then monitor them to see when they arrive at attractive valuations. Please watch this video to know more. Also friends, if you are benefited by the content that you see on this channel, please don't forget to share these videos because this could also be beneficial to others. Now the first stock on the list is Capital First Limited which is available at 632.20 and the symbol for it is CAPF. Now Capital First Limited is an India based financial company which is focused on providing debt financing to micro, small and medium enterprises. This is also involved with lending to Indian consumers. The company's products include personal loans, business loans, loan against property, two-wheeler loans, pre-owned car loan and insurance. The company also provides other credit granting services. Now the one year chart will reveal that this company has generally not done much and has been an underperformer. The market cap of the company is 6256.58 crores which means the company is a mid cap one. The EPS is 28.47 translating into a price to earnings ratio of a reasonable 22.21 and this is much below the industry PE of 43.44. The book value is 226.22 which again means that this stock is available at reasonable price to book valuations of 2.79. The dividend yield for the stock is 0.41 whereas the promoter holding here is a bit low at 35.58. The 52 week high for the company stands at 901.85 whereas the 52 week low is 609.80. Now the second company on the list and a company which Porinju thinks will exponentially benefit is Bajaj Finserve Limited which is available at 5267.40. The symbol for this stock is B-A-J-A-J-F-I-N-S-V. -A -A now Bajaj Finserve Limited is a holding company for various financial services businesses. The company is engaged in the business of promoting financial services such as finance, insurance and wealth management through its investment in subsidiaries and joint ventures. The company is also engaged in the business of generating power through wind turbines, a renewable source of energy. Now the one year chart will reveal that this company initially went on an uptrend but since then has largely been consolidating. The market cap of the company is 83,822.82 crores which means that the company is a large cap one. The EPS is 162.81 translating into a price to earnings ratio of 31.76. Now this is much below the industry P of 43.44. The book value here is 1013.1369 which translates into a price to book ratio of 5.1991. The dividend yield provided by the company is very low at 0.03 whereas the promoter holding is average at 58.35. The 52 week high for the company stands at 5790 whereas the 52 week low is 3801. The third company on the list is Tata Global Beverages Limited which is available at 276.95 and the symbol for it is TATA. G L O B A L. Now Tata Global Beverages Limited is a beverage company engaged in the trading, production and distribution of tea, coffee and water. The company's principal activities include processing and blending of tea including manufacture of instant tea. Now the one year chart shows that this company was initially on a beautiful uptrend but in the recent market correction this company too has corrected significantly. The market cap of the company is 17,479.14 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS is 8.32 translating into a price to earnings ratio of 33.29. Now this is much below the industry P of 41.38. The book value is 59.96 which translates into a price to book ratio of 4.62. The dividend yield provided to the company is 0.85 whereas the promoter holding here is on the lower side at 35.60. The 52 week high for the company stands at 328.75 whereas the 52 week low is 140.20. Now 
Now the next company on the list is HDFC Standard Life Insurance Company Limited and it's available at 482.65. The symbol for the company is HDFC LIFE. Now HDFC Standard Life Insurance Company Limited is a company providing life insurance products. The company provides various individual and group insurance solutions across India. It offers a range of life insurance plans such as term insurance plan, women's plan, health insurance plans, pension plan for retirement planning, child education plans, unit linked insurance plans and savings and investment plans. Now this is a new listing and hence the one year chart is not available but the chart since listing shows that this company has made a lot of wealth for its shareholders. The market cap of the company is 97,096.63 crores which means the company is a large cap one. The EPS is 5.02 translating into a price to earnings ratio of 96.15. Now this is very much more expensive compared to the industry P of 60.80. The book value is 18.99 translating into a price to book ratio of 25.42. The company does not yet pay out any dividends and hence the dividend yield is zero. The promoter holding is a very strong factor for this stock and stands at 81.04. The 52 week high is 494.30 whereas the 52 week low for the company is 307. Now friends, this stock may look optically expensive, but this has always got to be seen in conjunction with the very high quality promoters and the business as a whole. Now the next company on the list is Godrej Agrovet Limited, which is available at 639.35 and the symbol for it is G-O-D-R-E-J-A-G-R-O. Now Godrej Agrovet Limited is an India based agribusiness company. The company engages in animal fleet oil palm plantations, agrochemicals and poultry. It focuses on improving the productivity of Indian farmers by products and services that increase crop and livestock yields. Now since listing, this stock has been on an uptrend and has been a beneficiary of any kind of moves which the government is planning to bring in for rural sector. The market cap is 12,277.36 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS is 11.20 translating into a price to earnings ratio of 57.08 which is much below the industry PE of 62.02. .02. The book value is 47.38 which translates into a price to book ratio of 13.49. The company did not provide any dividends and the promoter holding is good at 68.79. The 52 week high for the company is 707.05 whereas the 52 week low is 522.15. Now friends, with the upcoming elections, the government would be expected to give some benefits to this sector and hence this company may stand to exponentially benefit. Now the next company on the list is Godrej Industries Limited which is available at 549.80 and the symbol for it is G-O-D-R-E-J-I-N-D. -E now Godrej Industries Limited manufactures fatty acid, fatty alcohol and surfactants. The company's segments include chemicals, animal feed, veg oils, estate and property development, finance and investment and also others. The one year chart reveals that this company has generally not done much and is almost closing the year at the same level that it started it. The market cap of the company is 18,488.27 crores which means that this company is a mid cap. The EPS is 7.60 translating into a very expensive price to earnings ratio of 72.34. Now this is also much more expensive compared to the industry PE of 62.93. The book value is 48.04 which translates into a price to book ratio of 11.44 which again is very expensive. The dividend yield provided to the company is on the lower side at 0.32 whereas the promoter holding is good at 74.74. The 52 week high for the company is 699 whereas the 52 week low is 504.55. Now the next company on the list is IDFC Bank Limited and it's available at 47.95. The symbol for this company is IDFC BANK. Now IDFC Bank Limited is a banking company which is engaged in the segments like treasury, corporate, wholesale banking and retail banking. It operates approximately 65 branches over 10 automated teller machines and approximately 15 offices which are spread throughout India. It offers savings accounts, fixed deposit, recurring deposit debit card, home loans, payments and online services among others. The one year chart reveals that this company has been an underperformer and the market cap of the company is 16,322.54 which makes it a mid cap stock. 
the EPS is 2.92, which means that this company is available at very reasonable valuations of 16.42 when compared with the industry PE of 28.80. The book value is 43.13 which translates into a price to book ratio of 1.11. The debt to equity here is a bit on the higher side at 3.4245 whereas the return on equity is 0.0720. The dividend yield provided by the company is decent at 1.56 whereas the promoter holding is average at 52.80. Now friends, the merger with Capital First is the primary reason why both IFDFC Bank Limited and Capital First have been recommended here. Now the final company on the list is Indian Hotels Limited which is available at 136.45 and the symbol for it is INDHOTEL. Now Indian Hotels Company Limited is a holding company engaged in short term accommodation activities and restaurants and mobile food service activities. The company is primarily engaged in the business of owning, operating and managing hotels, palaces and resorts. The company's segments include hoteliering and others which consists of air catering and investing activities. Now the one year chart reveals that this company has been creating some wealth but not a lot. The middle of the year saw a sort of a rounding bottom formation from which it had given a breakout but in the recent market correction the stock has again come back to a lower level. The market cap of the company is 16,227.43 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS is 0.93 translating into a very very expensive price to earnings ratio of 146.72. Now this is also much more expensive compared to the industry P of 61.91. The book value is 34.48 which means that this company is available at a price to book ratio of 3.96. The dividend yield provided by the company is 0.26 whereas the promoter holding here is on the lower side at 39.09. The 52 week high for the company is 160.95 whereas the 52 week low is 100.91. Now friends this is from the Tata group of companies and runs one of the most iconic brands to have originated out of India and that is the Taj group of hotels. Also friends the stock may look expensive right now but it's coming off a lot of bad times and hence if the business improves this company can also benefit exponentially from here on. Now friends please don't treat any of these as stock recommendations from us please go ahead and do your own research and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing because we will bring to you videos which would be beneficial to your net worth. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon with another video.